In this video, I'll show you where to find your My Ireland Exo dashboard and how it works. So I'm logged in to my Ireland Reaching Out account. And when I'm logged in, this blue button here has the words My Ireland Exo on it. If I'm not logged in, this blue button will say Login. So I've already logged in and to go to my Ireland Exo dashboard, I'm going to click on this blue button. I'm now brought in to a place that is only relevant to my content. So nobody else sees the same dashboard that I'm going to see. And that's because nobody else is possibly joined to the same groups that I'm joined to. So on the front page of my dashboard, I'm going to see the latest activities from the groups that I've joined. And the groups that I've joined will be counties and civil parishes that I've clicked to join. On the right hand side, an orange button will say edit my profile. And when I click on this, I'm brought into my details about my account. I can change these details here. I can create a new password. I can change my email address. I can put in my address. I can unjoin any groups that I may have joined by accident or that, I, uh, that are no longer relevant and I can manage my subscriptions. So these are the email notifications that I get. I can click or unclick these boxes here. All visibility is set to private and any changes that I've made to my account, I need to um, click the orange button to save. If at any time I want to delete my account, I can click the red button. Um, it doesn't automatically delete your account by clicking this red button. So don't worry if you do by accident, because then you have to confirm it by email that you wish to delete. And that all happens automatically. Um, an email is sent to your inbox. So I'm going to, let's say, unjoin Galway, County Galway. I've clicked on the button. You have been successfully unsubscribed, but I also need to save to make sure that that change is implemented to my profile. So I'm going to go back to my Ireland XO and I can always do that by going to the header of the website. And I'm going to explain what the left hand side menu is. This is where you manage all the content that you have created. And again, it's very specific to you and your membership. So my ancestors will include the ancestors that you have created. And again, directly from here, you can add a new ancestor by clicking on the orange button. You can also edit any of the ancestors that you have already created by clicking on the ancestors and clicking on the orange edit button. Next down, we have my buildings. When you see an orange circle with a number in it, it'll indicate that some activities have happened on your content and this is usually a comment has been added by someone so if you want to see what that comment is you would click into the content and scroll down to see what the comment is once you have viewed the comment this new activity will disappear my timelines are any events historical events that you've added and then next you have my messages my messages is slightly different as you can toggle between the posts that you have created and the replies. My comments, these are comments that I have created on other people's content. I'm going back to the menu here, my local guides. Again, only content that you have created will appear here. And my groups is a list of all the groups that you have are have been added to, or rather that you have added. Um, here we have Mount Melick, Fahan Lower, and if at any one time you want to see, go directly to the group, you can just click on the link and that will bring you straight to that groups page. And then to go back to where you were, you can either click the back, back button, or as always, you can go to the My Ireland XO at the top of the screen. And then the very last um, line item here on the left hand side is Ireland EXO Group. And that's simply all the latest activities that has been added to the Ireland EXO Group. To go
go back to the very first page of My Ireland XO, you can either again go back, use your button at the top of the screen, or use this back button here. To log out of your account, you can go to the top of your screen, log out that way. And as you can see, now that I'm logged out, my Ireland XO button no longer appears, but uh, it will appear when I sign up or log in again.